On January 11, 2001, the Betting, Gaming and Lotteries Commission issued a lottery license to Supreme Ventures Limited. Peter Stewart, Paul Ho and Ian Levy considered taking special aspects of Jamaican entertainment which brought communities together, packaging it for mainstream consumption. Their vision saw a small, quirky, symbolic neighborhood game known as Dropan becoming a winner in the existing lottery market. Quick hands, save legacy, better play, cash pot! Yeah! On June 25, 2001, Cash Pot was launched along with a lottery type game, Lucky Five. Both games enjoyed instant success. Hi, I'm Michael Anthony Cuff. Join me as we take a journey through the past 10 years of a collaborative partnership between Supreme Ventures Limited and GTEC, which has produced entertainment games that have found their way into the culture and the heart of our people. Peter Stewart, Paul Ho, and Ian Levy sought the ideal partner for Supreme Ventures that would provide not only advanced technology and service infrastructure, but one that would work assiduously with SVO, from licensing to launch, sharing their vision for the future of Jamaican gaming. That ideal partner was found at the Architects of Gaming, GTEC, a global leader in gaming technology and services. For 30 years, GTEC Corporation has provided innovative technology, creative gaming content, and superior services delivery to over half the U.S. lotteries and nearly 100 customers worldwide. Lotomatica Group is one of the world's largest commercial lottery operators and a market leader in the Italian gaming industry. GTEC and Lotomatica together create a fully integrated lottery operator and gaming technology solutions provider a combined company with worldwide scale, considerable financial strength, and industry-leading customer solutions. In Jamaica, GTEC provides a suite of lottery services for Supreme Ventures, communications technology solutions, data center operations, marketing, field services, and retailer training. Such was the genesis of this committed, collaborative, and rewarding partnership. And starting in 2001 with 180 agents, Supreme Ventures now boasts over 970 lottery agents across the island. Stewart, O and Levy had a vision for Supreme Ventures and so in December 2003, SVL acquired 100% of shareholdings in the Jamaica Lottery Company. Sadly, however, the day before the consolidation of the two companies, on March 28, 2004, founding partner Peter Stewart passed away. Keeping his memory alive, the directors moved SVL forward and with the technological support of GTEC, revamped the newly acquired Lotto game, taking the starting jackpot from an original $4 million to $7 million. When I win the Lotto, I shall be smiling. <laughs> Now, under one roof, Jamaicans were offered a full suite of games, Cash Pot, Lucky Five, Dollars, Lotto, and Pick Three. SVL also took over the MoneyGram, Money Transfer, and Cambi operations previously conducted by JLC. By March 2005, instant games were added under the SVL brand WinQuick. A true partnership throughout the years, GTEC has journeyed alongside SVL, holding true to its commitment to provide systems and solutions that empower its customers to securely and responsibly offer the games people want to play. At startup, GTEC rolled out the Tiffany terminal for the Jamaican market. It was similar to a cash register, but had the capabilities to be networked to a gaming system in order to run GTEC's game features and promotions. The ISIS terminal was introduced to the market soon after as the terminal that issued check payments to winners and was utilized mostly by high-selling retailers. These terminals operated on a radio technology network at the time. As the needs of the business evolved, so did the technology, and GTEC continuously sought ways to improve its service delivery and technology standards to the market. In 2005, GTEC introduced its state-of-the-art, technologically advanced point-of-sale solution, the Altura line of terminals. Its modular design and compact size enables high sales volume and fast transaction processing capabilities. 
In addition, GTEC changed from a radio-based communications system to a GPRS-based network, providing greater flexibility, speed, and reliability in data transmission and greater levels of efficiency and redundancy capabilities. In 2010, GTEC further improved on its network management and monitoring capabilities by integrating a GPS mapping system into its current network infrastructure. This mapping system has resulted in greater efficiency in the real-time monitoring of network performance and more specifically the communications status of the retailer base, allowing more proactive management of any potential communications issues. GTEC's robust transaction processing capabilities enabled service extensions outside of gaming for SVL to offer the public. With mobile top-up technology from GTEC, SVL was able to include mobile phone credit top-up services alongside the suite of lottery games offered at each terminal. With technology comes innovation, and in December 2004, SVL acquired Prime Sports Jamaica Limited and now currently owns and operates Acropolis locations in Kingston, Maypen and Portmore along with Coral Cliff in Montego Bay. Such exponential growth was shared with the public in January 2006 when SVL was listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. The growth and diversity of the company led to the formation of Supreme Ventures Lotteries Limited in January 2007 which now holds the licenses for the lottery gaming products being offered to the public. SVL and GTEC are always seeking ways to enhance their portfolio of games. The Lucky 5 game was enhanced in February 2008, with the daily top prize increasing from $600 to $800,000. Pick 3 enthusiasts were also offered a convenient third draw at 5 p.m. in September 2008 and the Lotto game was enhanced in November of that year, with a starting jackpot moving from $7 million to $15 million. August 2009 saw the dawn of the Caribbean's first Powerball-type game with the Super Lotto. Extra large, extra large, Super Lotto, that's larger than large, yeah. SVL partnered with gaming counterparts Lotto Real in the Dominican Republic and the Leeward Island Lottery in Barbados, Antigua, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Martin, and later with the U.S. Virgin Islands in October 2010, all operating on GTEC's superior platform. The Super Lotto took the jackpot sky high. With a starting jackpot of $180 million, the combined population of multiple jurisdictions enabled the creation of a bigger game, to say the least. Super Lotto became the Caribbean lottery player's dream, and a lucky winner in St. Martin claimed the first jackpot of 467 million Jamaican dollars in October 2010. SVL continued to evolve. Through GTEx technology, SVL offered the player increased options, with a fourth draw for Cashpot and Pick 3 introduced in November 2010 launching of Pick 2 in December 2010 and the fourth draw of the game introduced in April of this year. For a decade, SVL has enabled various initiatives to progress through their sponsorships, donations and philanthropic efforts. National initiatives in the educational system as well as sporting interventions, healthcare, cultural preservation and artistic ventures have been facilitated by the Culture, Health, Arts, Sports and Education Fund, Chase. Donations directly from SVL's corporate communications budget have assisted in hurricane and disaster relief efforts of the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, as well as furthering outreach efforts of the Jamaica Cancer Society, Diabetes Association, along with the Heart and Lupus Foundations of Jamaica. The GTEC approach globally has sought to ensure their responsibilities as a good corporate citizen. For GTEC Jamaica, that commitment is evidenced in their charitable donations and their after-school advantage program. As a good corporate citizen, GTEC Jamaica has assisted the University Hospital in the reconstruction of their intensive care unit, as well as outfitting the unit with equipment 
geared towards early childhood institutions, the GTEC After School Advantage program assisted several schools across the island with general refurbishment, the provision of computer equipment and various learning apparatuses, as well as the donation of books and other items and the voluntary services of GTEC staff to various schools. SVL and GTEC have set precedents and trends for business altruism in Jamaica. Recently, an extension to the Lottery Gaming License was granted by the Betting Gaming and Lotteries Commission to SVL through to the year 2026. From this agreement, the company will be required to invest at least $450 million or the U.S. equivalent of $5 million in the upgrading and expansion of its lottery gaming operations in Jamaica. With the extension granted from the BGLC, GTEC also announced its continued support of SVL with an extension of their contract with SVL also to 2026. The partnership between SVL and GTEC for the past 10 years has facilitated great benefit to the Jamaican economy and has exemplified to the lottery industry worldwide what a successful business relationship looks like. Increasing SVL revenues to over $25 billion in 2010. In its decade of operations, SVL has contributed over $6 billion to the Chase Fund, generated in excess of $10 billion in additional revenue for the government and created direct and indirect employment opportunities for thousands of Jamaicans. SVL has also paid out more than $100 billion in prize money and created over 430 lotto jackpot millionaires. Taken as a whole, Supreme Ventures has contributed above $120 billion dollars to the Jamaican economy. What is the continued vision of the SVL and GTEC partnership? This answer is simple. Commitment to integrity, quality, service and country where everybody wins.